A happy, 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 beautiful, amazing day. Dr. Bob Rakowski here with a mini course on demolishing diabetes. This is part one of a three-part series. We're going to talk about diabetes type one. And what I'm happy to tell you is that there is hope. In fact, there's always hope for miracles. A little background on me. I've been in clinical practice for 30 years. I've treated both ends of the spectrum, world champions from every major professional sport, I've also treated people that were sent home to die. And this was a fun diabetic foot miracle. This was given a death sentence. It was scheduled to be amputated. And I've also taught doctors all over the world. So we can consider it the world's biggest health problem and certainly the most expensive health problem. Uh, and sadly, the most fast growing demographic of type two diabetics are actually children. They used to call that adult onset diabetes, but now our kids are sicker and sicker at a younger age. When we look at type one diabetes, there's a destruction of the cells of the pancreas that make insulin, uh, an autoimmune response typically, although there could be a trauma that could do it. And type two diabetes, the body just doesn't respond to insulin. And there's a number of factors that set that up. And type three, yeah, they're calling Alzheimer's at type three diabetes of the brain. And we're gonna address all types. So diabetes is more expensive than cancer. So we know it's a big problem and an expensive problem and about one in seven sick care dollars is spent uh, with diabetes and diabetic complications. And some of the well-known ones, blindness, kidney disease, nerve damage, amputation, <clears throat> heart disease, stroke, heart attack, altered circulation. And later on, I'm gonna talk about one superfood, Gannet or Melucidum, which is phenomenal for diabetes and for preventing the complications. So. Insulin is a life critical molecule. Uh, and in fact, before the discovery of insulin, people with type one diabetes were actually going to die. So we think of it as getting sugar into the cells, but it also is important for protein synthesis and even the absorption of certain uh, ions as well. This was a young girl who had type one diabetes, was wasting away, and then very fortunately, insulin saved her life. Jay Cutler, an NFL player, uh, was diagnosed with type one diabetes and he, he rapidly lost 35 pounds. Why? Because insulin is required to get nutrition into the cells. When we look at blood sugar regulation, it's absolutely critical to survival, no matter if you're a type one, type two, or type three diabetic. Uh, but we noticed that as blood sugar goes up, the death risk goes up very dramatically. So the scale is not linear. You know, at the highest levels of blood sugar, 20x increase risk of death. So fun story here with Maureen, that was actually her foot. I'll apologize for the poor resolution. I put that on Facebook Live, but I'm gonna play that video and I think you're gonna find it pretty amazing. Hey, let's get the, uh, the camera work just right. If you look at my computer screen, uh, we have this foot and I could actually turn the image around, but that's February 3 of 2015. We had a pretty remarkable change uh, just a few weeks later. And I have the beautiful owner of that foot and that foot is more beautiful than ever. That's Maureen. Let's just see if I can get on that. And look at that. Look at how beautiful that foot is. And of course, look how beautiful you are. <laughs> but uh, Share, tell me about uh, well, what we talked about earlier. So how are your blood sugars today? Uh, how are you feeling about life and your future? And I feel better than I have in, in years. First of all, I feel more in control of my diabetes and I've been diabetic for 35 years. And what I finally realized is that the doctors have it wrong. You know, the diet that they tell you to follow, which is 45 to 60 grams of carbs a meal, is crazy. It sets you up for a roller coaster of highs and lows. And that's what I've been listening to for years. And I finally found a keto and low-carb way of life that has completely changed things. I, I feel, what I tell people, Bill, is I got off the roller coaster. You know, I got off the roller coaster. And so now your sugars are the best they've been in God knows how long. I don't even remember. Yeah, I don't remember. I mean, it might long. be 20, 30 years since they've been that good. Yeah. And even you had a conversation with your endocrinologist and you said, look, I want to get down to 5.0. And she said, no, she said, no, it's too risky. It's too risky. And I said, why am I not entitled to the same blood sugars as a, a healthy person without diabetes? And she said, because you're not, you'll have too many hypos. In order to get that low, you would have too many hypos. And I said, what if, what if I don't? 
And she said, okay, I challenge you to. And I said, challenge accepted. Well, good. You know what? And, and good for you. And thank you for inspiring the world. And, and one of the things I told Maureen, and by the way, if you can send some love and comments that this is inspiring to you and other people, I'm going to estimate that well over a thousand people have had phenomenal inspiration from Maureen uh, to see what she was able to achieve with it's doable. You know, it's doable. Make your health the number one priority because it, it's life changing. And one of the things you said is one of the things we always have to have. You know, we have the best existence is hope. Hope yeah, is yeah, you know, when I they took my hope away when they when they diagnosed me diabetic years ago and told me you you're diabetic you're going to end up with complications you don't have to you don't have to thank you for that do I have your permission to share this information with doctors students and patients everywhere absolutely any conditions not at all <laughs> one final look look how beautiful look how beautiful looks pretty much like the other one life is good yes it is. <laughs> So what a fantastic story and seeing is believing. <clears throat> so when it comes to autoimmune diabetes, what's causing the problem? Can I help? How long does it take? How much does it cost? Those are always questions that people have. What I'm going to tell you is that it's autoimmune. We'll go through that. I always answer the question, can I help? I don't know, but I'll try, but we've got a pretty good track record and people want to be better fast. So we take advantage of frequency, duration, intensity, quality, and timing of stimuli. So what sets up type one diabetes? Well, it's autoimmune, toxins can do it, stress can do it, poor health, poor nutrition, viruses in people that have genetic predisposition. They also say you could have damage or removal of the pancreas. That's gonna be rare, but it could do it as well. So when we look at the autoimmune debate, you know, the natural medicine system says the immune system is protecting us. It's killing dead and dying cells. And the medical debate is no, no, it's killing your pancreas. We need to do something about it. So. This woman has the same thought I do. I thought my immune system was designed to protect me. And New England Journal of Medicine agrees with that. It says autoreactivity or autoimmune process is physiologic and crucial to normal immune function. It's like weeding the garden uh, and gardens need to be weeded or the weeds take over. So one of our immune strategies is to know what cells are ours and which cells are not. So that was a Marine that's the exact same picture of him. He was badly burned. And I, I always ask my students, you know, if you were guarding the military base and you re relied on facial recognition, you know, you see this guy come in, you're going to let him in. But what about this guy? Even his own mother wouldn't recognize him. And therefore, you're probably not going to let him in. So the literature says cell injury precedes autoimmune disease. This was a TED talk and it was entitled Reeducating the Immune System. And this pharmaceutical guy said, well, here we have an abnormal beta cell of the pancreas. That's a cell that makes insulin. And here we have a normal cell. Uh, and very, very sadly, when you have that, normal, that abnormal cell, the immune system will kill it. Well, here's what I'm gonna tell you. The immune system is supposed to kill bad cells, dead and dying cells, abnormal cells. So now let's start looking at some of the risks. Obesity is a risk factor for about everything unhealthy, including type one diabetes. Certain foods, especially gluten and cow dairy, uh, can be triggers of type one diabetes. Uh, gluten, much more problems since the genetic modification of gluten. Cow dairy also, by the way, has cow insulin, but they use 80% of antibiotics on livestock uh, and milk has residues of antibiotics, making commercial milk mostly toxic. Stress is significantly associated with increased risk of autoimmunity. In fact, 146% increased risk of autoimmunity after something that created post-traumatic stress disorder. Uh, and here's a fact, nearly everybody walking around has elevated cortisol and cortisol resistance. So I recommend a stress reset. And I have a YouTube video on that. And we realize that bodies do take advantage of frequency, duration, intensity, quality, and timing of stimuli. Just like learning a skill, you can re-educate your chemistry of your body. And to reset the stress system, I use melatonin every waking hour, theanine every waking hour, uh, and Ganoderma spores every waking hour for seven to 10 days. You can watch that mini series if you like. Ganoderma also has the benefit of being used to treat and or prevent autoimmune disease. Uh, and that's what the medical literature says it can do. Remember, prevention is better than cure. So this STZ was a chemotherapy that used to be used for pancreatic cancer until they realized that it destroyed the cells of the pancreas that make insulin, the beta cells. 
and they would actually cause type one diabetes. So doctors thought, well, maybe we can find something someday that can prevent this toxic onset of type one diabetes. And they found out that if they gave Ganoderma and STZ, the patient did not develop type one diabetes. Any virus can trigger uh, type one diabetes is if it infects the cells of the pancreas. So here was a mouse study where they infected mice's pancreas with Epstein-Barr virus. Uh, and if they didn't give them any treatment, they all developed type one diabetes. But if they gave them Ganoderma along with the infection, none of the mice developed type one diabetes. And I tell people there are universal immune modulators. Those include vitamin D, DHEA, Ganoderma, Perilacid, uh, omega-3 resolvins, and gut health. And I take advantage of all of these things uh, and have successfully turned around a number of autoimmune circumstances, not type one diabetes yet, but I'm hopeful to do that someday. And then we provide comprehensive nutrition. So, you know, Maureen talked about her keto uh, paleo diet. We use Ganoderma lucidum and then certain functional foods that are great for blood sugar. We also do a multivitamin and mineral. Why? Because the diabetic is a nutrient wasting machine, the omega-3 resolvents, probiotics, and a combination of D3, K2. By the way, if people have neuropathy, carnitine, lipoic acid, and resveratrol are very effective. So my memory aid for the keto diet, leans, greens, nuts, and seeds. If it's white, keep it out of sight. Some more references, Ganoderma protects the diabetic eye, prevents that retinopathy and blindness. It can also be very, very good for the kidney problems. That's what nephropathy is. That's a picture of a gentleman on dialysis. It also alleviates the heart problems, the, card the cardiomyopathy associated with diabetes. And by the way, it can accelerate diabetic wound healing and prevents amputation. And lovely, likely you saw that with Maureen. So Ganoderma, there's a whole gamut that's out there. I use a form that's USDA certified organic, EcoCert, kosher halal. Most of the Ganodermas out there are that. So you're gonna to wanna to put the good stuff in your body. Uh, and I also have Ganoderma infused coffee, tea, hot chocolate shakes. Again, all with the highest quality Ganoderma. And now for a little more hope. Uh, this was a medical study about long lasting remission of type one diabetes. So they have a case where the individual went into remission uh, and remained there for a very long period of time. And the reason I show Roger Bannister and Edmund Hillary is, you know, it's been done once, why not do it again and again and again and again? And one more fact of hope, we are making wonderful medical advances with stem cells and they can actually take organs from let's say a pig and digest all the cells and genetic material out of it. And then they can infuse it with stem cells. And they're showing promise with certain organs, especially liver and kidneys now. And in time, I'm hopeful that we'll be able to replace the heart uh, and the pancreas as well. Every Tuesday, I have an Ask the Doctor uh, Zoom. You're welcome to join us and ask questions. And as always, I'm Dr. Bob Rakowski, absolutely knowing that we can all be happy, healthy, and successful.